I'm Olivia Gonzalez Bridge, your community reporter in Avila Beach, where I spoke to an oceanographer researching at Cal Poly who is using this gauge right here, along with some other water level rising instruments along the coast to study water levels as sea levels rise. Having any luck? <laughs> it's look at it, it's just stunning. Serena Lee is an Australian oceanographer and avid surfer who made a significant move a year ago when traveling to California's central coast to continue her ocean studies. It's just been a brilliant career for me because I'm an outdoorsy person, but I can use those skills in physics and math to help the environment that I love and to be in the environment that I love. The importance of her research matches her stunning workplace. For over a decade, Lee has dedicated her research to understanding sea level rise and its impact on coastal communities. The researchers will be able to use the data that we're collecting to look at the really long-term trends. By working with students at Cal Poly, her department has developed affordable instruments to fill the gaps in their database. So this is a tide gauge. While this tide gauge installed by the National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration cost up to $30,000, at Cal Poly Pier, students have engineered a $300 model that does a similar job. They're just enthusiastic, so intelligent and smart and engaged, and they really want to make a difference to their community. While taking advantage of the king tides hitting our coast this week, Lee is collaborating with the Coastal Commission and encourages community involvement through the California King Tide Project, another way they can fill in data gaps. And that's a project that everyone can get involved in. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have special equipment or special knowledge about coastal processes or anything like that. All you need really is a camera. Look at those sets right there. Beachgoers like Lizane Mustaine, who frequently visits the shore, has been snapping photos recently and upon learning about the study is excited to be involved. I think a lot of people would enjoy participating. Will you be? Oh yeah, sure. Lee is hopeful for more engagement and remains dedicated to advancing research for the community's benefit. I think the hope comes from people's willingness to get engaged and, and try to contribute as well. And while the most extreme part of the King Tides is over, if you have any pictures of what they look like this week, there will be a link on this story on KSBY.com with more information on how you can upload them. In Avila Beach, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, KSBY News.